standard Comanche patterns. Let's take a look. This is the A2A Comanche in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Departing from Fairhope. On takeoff, no flaps, full power, uh, full RPM on the prop. We're going to climb out to pattern altitude at a thousand feet. Basically, we're on that climb out, we're just going to let it accelerate as we pull the gear up uh, to about 120 cruise climb. As you can see, the Comanche full power down low is going to make altitude pretty quick. feet starting our turn to the crosswind and as we hit a thousand feet you start to level off and also start to bring the power back pretty quickly so here what we're aiming for since we're staying in the pattern is a speed right around 125 miles an hour we want to stay right in the top of that wide arc for putting the gear down without in with uh, minimum air stress and being ready for flaps. So, turning downwind now. You can see in the A2A Comanche, we set about 13 inches manifold pressure to hold 125 in level flight with the gear up. rolling out on downwind. We're going to be midfield here pretty quick, which means we're going to clear up our landing checklist, fuel pump on, mixture itch, prop forward, put the landing gear down. Gear comes down, you get that pitch moment that you have to correct for. Coming adjacent our landing point, so we're going to back off here to about 12 inches, put one notch of flaps out on the lower right. You can see we've got the green light that the gear is down and locked, and we're trimming for 100 miles an hour now for our initial glide. checking for about 45 degrees from our landing point to the wing to time our turn to base. Here comes that base turn. As we round out on base, we're going to go to two notches of flaps, trim for 90 miles an hour. You can see we've been keeping that manifold pressure right around 12 to 12 and a half inches in the simulator Comanche. There we've got our two-thirds flaps down, looking good. Right at 90 miles an hour. Turn a little early to the final here. It's always a little bit hard to judge in the simulator. Turning final, we're going to go to full flaps and looking for about 85, uh, slowing to 80 across the fence. If it's gusty, you're going to want to carry a little 500. extra speed, about half the amount of the gust. If you're light, you might want to reduce speed a little bit because the Comanche is very sensitive to its landing weight in terms of the best speeds in the flare to reduce float. Here we've got full flaps out, confirmed three green on final. We've backed the power off another inch, start coming on to the glide slope. And holding right there about 85.
keeping that little bit of power in. Starting to slow come across the numbers. Now we're just going to work it down, holding it off, letting the airspeed bleed off. There's the runway. Cut the power, put the flaps up before we get on the brakes. And that's it. That's the standard Comanche pattern. Let's see how this looks in the real airplane. Here we are in the real 1959-250 Comanche at Andalusia 79 Juliet in Alabama. We're on the go. Exactly the same setup as we just had in the sim. Gear coming up. Amber light indicates it's up and the motor's off. You can see I'm right at the top of the white arc at about 125 mile an hour climb. My EDM 830 is at the bottom of the panel below the altimeter and vertical speed indicator. Airport elevation here out just under 300 feet so again we've just climbed a thousand foot pattern altitude in the real Comanche the main difference to the sim is it's not really as clean as the sim Comanche so here you can see I've backed off to basically 15 inches of manifold pressure where it was about two inches lower in the sim for the same airspeed rolling out on crosswind still sitting nicely at the top of the white arc. Rolling on to our downwind. Midfield landing checklist, checking the fuel pump still on, make sure it's props forward, gear coming down. Gears down and green. Adjacent to that landing point, one notch flat, setting about 13 inches of manifold pressure and trimming for 100. Starting our base turn. Second notch flaps comes out. Trimming for 90. final full flaps eighty five miles an hour It's 
see we've been able to keep that power pretty steady all the way down. We started about 13 and a half as we've lost altitude. That's crept up to a little over 14. Keeping most of that power in because we've got some thermals. Some bumps. Now here I'm actually doing a short field landing, so as I get close, I'm wanting the airspeed bleed off a little more. I know the adjusted speed for my weight, because I'm only at about 2,400 pounds. You can see I'm holding about 79 instead of 82. Come across the numbers, gradually reduce that power. And find the runway, get the flaps up, and get on the brakes. That double marks there is 1,500 foot from the end of the runway. So again, uh, easily stopped in under 2,000 feet if we needed to. Rims good on the go. So that's that. That's the real Comanche. I thought it would just be interesting, you know, how close are these? If you follow, uh, keep the airspeeds the same. Well, here's the sim Positive versus rate. Comanche. Here's the coming sim up. shot was actually filmed first. I didn't go back after I had the real flight and try and get one to match. I flew it in the sim first, totally independently flew it in the real airplane. And I think you'll see here uh, the timing lines up pretty close. Here's up amber, approaching pattern altitude. Power about 15 inches. Turn crosswind. And trim. Greenfield traffic, this is 55 calls on 453 and final 32. Set to go. Greenfield traffic. Andalusia traffic, Comanche 605 on Papa, crosswind 29. Hey, check our downwind entry, looks clear. That speed's right where we want it, top of the white arc. Andalusia, 5 sun pop, left down in 2 9, full stop. All right, fuel pumps on, mixer itch, prop forward, gears coming down. Gears down and green. Landing point, 13 and a half inches. Okay, creep build traffic to the side of the First notch, trim for 100. Creep build traffic. Airs are 45, base. Andalusia traffic, command 25, some pop, turning base 29, full stop. Flaps 2, looking for 90.
Okay, finals clear. Andalusia traffic, command two five some pops, turning final two nine, Andalusia full stop. Full flaps, three green on final. A bit of thermals out here this morning already. And there you have it. I'm Virgil from Plain Places Adventures. If you like this video, please subscribe and support our channel. Have a good day.